Hi there. So today's story I've taken from the book Haunted Donegal by Madeline McCulley and it's called The Gaddy Dump Miracle. So just outside Clonmany on the road to Urris and the Memor Gap, there are the roofless ruins of a little church founded by St. Colum in the 6th century. Indeed, it was mentioned in connection with the rich monastery and the annals of the Four Masters, but the incident that caused amusement locally took place in the 19th century when the little church, now Protestant, was undergoing repairs. In the neighbouring village, there was a bandit known as Gaddy Du, or the Black Thief. He had an accomplice in his shady trade, and one night they planned to steal a sheep, break into the church, light a fire, boil some cabbage heads, and have a feast. The thief sent his friend on his way to steal the sheep when he prepared the fire with some kindling. When the fire was lit, he put a large pot on to heat the water. While it was heating up, he placed the cabbage heads on a plank ready to chop. Now, there happened to be a rather short Scottish man called Ranald of the Roman Catholic persuasion, who frequently visited his friend, a Protestant. On his way, he had to pass by the church and was surprised to see a light flickering there at that time of night. He crept up to the door and peered through the keyhole and was horrified at what he saw or what he thought he saw. A tall, dark form wielded a cleaver and chopped, chopped, chopped at what the wee Scotsman thought were human heads. Beside him, a large fire burned below a cauldron that was spewing out clouds of steam. The chopped heads were being thrown into the streaming cauldron. The man ran to his friend's house as fast as his little legs could carry him. But his friend was not in. His friend's mother sat there alone, a plump little woman who was crippled with rheumatism and unable to move without crutches. Ranald burst into the room, breathing heavily and extremely agitated. He looked around wildly, then gasped out the shocking thing he had witnessed in the church. Jeannie, I see the devil in your kirk. He had a muckle pot and was boiling away at body's heads. I wouldn't have believed that, Ranald. The devil couldn't come in our kirk at all, but if I could walk, I'd go there to convince you that you're mistaken. Never say it again. I'll carry you, said Ronald. With that promise, he lifted the woman onto his back and set out for the church, staggering somewhat under her weight. When they arrived there, the black thief was still alone. Upon hearing Ronald's footsteps, he thought it was his accomplice returning with the sheep. The thief ran to the window and said in a loud whisper, Is she fat? The old woman gasped. Terrified, Ranald dropped her onto the gravel path and ran like the hammers of hell back to her house. What happened next could only be described as a miracle. Jeanie, fearing that she was going to be the next meal for the devil, scrambled to her feet, jumped over the graveyard wall and reached her house before Ranald. Strange as it may seem, that woman never felt a pang of rheumatism from that night until the day she died. When the black thief died, the townland retained the name of Gaddy Duff in memory of the strange cure of the crippled woman. Thank you. Bye-bye.